other than his brother Ron, that's here, I probably know him longer than anyone else, even longer than Janet and, uh, and his family. Uh, I want you to know that Jerry is one of my leaders. He's one of my heroes. He understands the issues of District 18. He was a public accountant, a CPA for a, a public accounting firm. I remember him talking with me, saying he wanted to be in something in the community where he could have a larger impact on the youth. And he then began teaching in the LDS seminaries and institute for high school and college age students. He, in the community, he has served as a, a leader in the Boy Scouts. He's the district chairman here in Mesa. He is currently serving as the vice president of the Grand Canyon Council, which covers virtually all of Arizona except for the Tucson area and Kingman. Uh, he serves in important functions there. And of course, in the neighborhood, he's been a little league officer. He's uh, been on the high school parents committee. Uh, he's been the chairman, interfaith chairman of the baccalaureate committee. His daughter was the president of the baccalaureate club at the Westwood High School this year. His, his children have gone to, to Whittier and to Carson and to Westwood High School. Uh, they've spent their career here. Jerry and Janet have seven children and, and now six grandchildren. They all live close by. There's lots of opportunity uh, for service for all of us. Uh, Jerry is one of those who leads and has led uh, for all of these many years. We're grateful to him. It's my pleasure to introduce Jerry Lewis. Senate President. History has been made in the district. The voters of District 18 have called this election and they want a fresh start for Mesa. A few months ago, when I was initially approached to run, I was humbled and amazed that I would even be considered as a candidate in such a race. Since then, I've heard from so many of my friends, neighbors, and fellow voters. Their encouragement has been overwhelming. Through many conversations with my dear wife, Janet, and our family, and your continued support, I have decided to officially announce my candidacy for State Senate. time to restore a style of leadership to Mesa that its residents can be proud of. <laughs> In 
in this time of record unemployment, budget deficits, and a stale business climate, Mesa needs a leader in the Senate they can count on. As a As a former CPA, I understand financial issues that Arizona is facing today. Effective financial management and a balanced budget are vital to the economic health of our state. Job growth and business recruitment are the building blocks to a stable and thriving economy for Arizona. With the passage of new tax restrictions in California, and the abundance of affordable residential, commercial, and industrial space in the Valley, I believe we are positioned perfectly to promote Arizona as the place for new and growing businesses to plant their roots. As an educator, and school superintendent here in Mesa. I believe the education we provide to our children is the biggest and most effective investment we can make in our future. Safeguarding that investment will be one of my top priorities as a state senator. By preserving parental choice and working with teachers to ensure they have the resources necessary to teach effectively, we can guarantee that we are producing the brightest and most well-equipped students for a modern job market. <laughs> Throughout my 29 years here in Mesa, I've seen many changes in our city, from the rise and fall of Tri-City Mall, the struggle of the Fiesta District today, to the opening of Loop 202 and the welcoming of light rail. Mesa has had its fair share of wins and losses. Through the strong leadership of Mayor Scott Smith and the City Council, I believe Mesa is now at a crossroads. With the skills and leadership style that I bring to the table, I am eager to work with our city, county, and state leaders to attack the issues at hand and promote growth and progress for Mesa. I will run a positive campaign. I will not make any personal tax against my opponent. He is a member of my community and a friend. Our shared faith teaches us to treat others with respect and kindness. That is how I will campaign and that is how I will lead in the state senate. very hard to create this election. Some may disagree with this recall, but regardless of our feelings on how we got here, on November 8th, there is going to be an election. In the end, this is not my Senate seat, nor is it Russell Pierce's Senate seat. This position belongs to the voters of District 18. It Mesa's Senate seat. I promise to bring all the leadership and values that I have developed throughout my life to ensure that I represent the voters of Mesa. By listening to their concerns and collaborating on solutions to the issues we face, 
we can build a strong legacy for Mesa and for Arizona. I am proud to call Mesa home and honored to ask for your vote on November 8th. Thank you very much.